traditional sandwich day, people, and the only way to upgrade it is to make it dessert. We I know, Carol I love Hurst. it. I Something know. sweet. So we, we have the genius here, Mama Carol Hurst here from the Old Town Spice Shop. She knows what she's doing. I do. So, so, so how do we do this? How do we upgrade a sandwich? So we're going to make it sweet. We're going to make a dessert. Are you messy in the kitchen? You're yes. my kind of person. Or do you not know how to even cook? Maybe you don't even have an oven. A vegetarian. Yep. We got you covered. So here is a great easy dessert. I was thinking about pumpkin spice because food uh, predictionists were saying pumpkin spice is not going anywhere. People love it. It's staying right. around. Everybody still wants everything pumpkin spice. So let's make a pumpkin spice ice cream sandwich cake. You can I'm, I'm bring okay this out any that. time of year. You can change up the flavors if you want. It's ooey, it's gooey, it's delicious. And it, if you have five minutes, we can put together a cake. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to start out with some, uh, here's a, one tub of Cool Whip. Here's some pumpkin flavor. You can just pour in a couple teaspoons full. A couple teaspoons full. So we're, now we're turning the Cool Whip into pumpkin Cool Whip. Okay. And all you're going to do is pour that flavor in. I've got some great Bickford pumpkin flavor. And we're going to take a whisk mm -hmm. or a spoon or whatever and stir it around. Okay. We've now got pumpkin Cool Whip. Okay. Oh, just like that. And you can smell it. I wish we had smell a vision. Smell a vision. Scratch Here I've got 12 ice cream sandwiches. <laughs> We're going to stack them up to make an ice cream cake. Okay. So I put four down, mm -hmm. put some uh, caramel in the middle. That's going to be like our glue. Perfect. You can be messy, no problem. <laughs> stack four more on top. A a parallel? Yep, on same way. Okay. And they're going to look a little uneven. They're going to look a little messy. No problem. You're Again, we've the got you covered. Better. I know. <laughs> there you go. Pour some more. Oh, it looks like I, I maybe I ate one on the oh, way. Oh my goodness! What did you really hear? Oh, I'll just we'll go ahead. I'll make it like that. How okay. About that? So we've got it stacked up. You may want to pop it in the freezer for a few more minutes just mm -hmm. to make sure it's hard and solid. Now we're going to take some of this pumpkin Cool Whip mm -hmm. and you can just use a spatula okay. and you're going to frost it on the outside of the cake. Again, you can be messy. You can have the kids do this. You can have it be sloppy because you want that gooey, you want the caramel leaking out, you want big hunks of that frosting on there. Yes. And so we're going to frost the whole cake. We put you a big glob on the top. Big glob on top. That's and then we need. we've got a frosted cake, mm -hmm. and then we're going to sprinkle pumpkin pie spice on the top. Okay, we're going to continue to go ahead and make sure that this looks gorgeous, and we will be right back with some more of this. But in the meantime, you guys can get all the ingredients at the Old Town Spice Shop, 334 South Main Street in Old Town St. Charles, Old Town Spices. Dot com and uh, we're going to come back and see some more geniuses celebrate National Sandwich Day the right way on, on the 9 a.m. show. Yes.